Hey now, tubers. Thank you so much for joining and welcome everyone. I'm going to give a few more people a couple of minutes to join us. I'm just kind of like soaking my brush in the monomer. And in the meantime, this is pretty much going to be a watch me work as I show. Oh, I can't even get it right. And in the meantime, this is pretty much going to be a watch me work as I show the and I'm thinking I'm only going to do the application part of this. Pretty much I'm going to end it where I stop talking. Where I'm pretty much I'm going to end this where I'm done talking about the announcement that I have for you guys. This is also kind of like my way of practicing getting ready to. Uh, this is kind of like my way of practicing getting accustomed to or prepared to do maybe lives but it don't seem to be going too well <laughs> let me just explain it real quick this is kind of like my initial discussion I'm gonna talk about acrylics just a little more some things that came to mind after my last couple of videos but this is pretty much gonna pick up at the acrylic powders that I talked about and this is another one that's by eye gel beauty and this color is super duper Look, this color is super duper gorgeous. This color is super. I can't even get the words out. This color is super duper gorgeous, right? And remember, don't forget that I talked about stirring your acrylics before every use. So, you guys have seen that I've already laid the clear, and I guess I could finish off putting some clear right there. I'm so excited over both the things that I'm doing today and you see I left in a couple of bloopers just for the fun. I feel it gives you a little peek at what goes on behind the camera. So this is pretty much going to be from this point in real time as I lay the acrylic. I need you guys to know that I'm not representing or defending eye gel beauty and this is not a sponsored video. I bought these acrylics quite some time ago. In fact, I did a haul video at that time and I'm sure I said things in that video too. So I'll have a link at the end of this and in the description box in case you're interested. The things that I've shared should be considered across the board with all brands. But one of my reasons is because I find reviews to be so interesting. Bearing in mind that it's very possible for someone to have a different experience with a brand than yourself. For me, one bad apple doesn't spoil the whole bunch. And as you can see, this glitter acrylic is working well. With the correct bead, it's laying so smooth. Oh, and I showed you the jar, but forgot to say, this is called Night Sky. And as I edited this, which wasn't much because it is in real time, I noticed something else I don't like about the editing application. It makes what I'm doing appear to be very choppy at times. I don't know if you noticed it. I wanted to point that out because I don't want you to get the impression that I'm actually doing that. This application I think has one of those like subject detectors, you know, like motion things. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, I was loving this blue so much. Then less monomer for a smaller bead at the pinky. The pinkies are tricky too because of their size. For me, it's the thumb. But I did get a lot of feedback from some who expressed their frustration over that little bitty pinky. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I need to download that. Yeah, that's going to cut off. So picking back up where I left off. While I do also understand that one product may discourage you from further interest in the company, I feel like this is where the opportunity to interact with the customer service system should come into play. And during this interaction, you can get an even better feel of the company and how it caters to its clientele. I'm just saying. I believe I purchased like 39 or 49 acrylics. I know it was said in that haul video. And of that number, one light blue one and then now this pink were the only ones that had some issue. You may feel different, but I don't think that's a bad ratio when you consider how reasonably priced these are. And when addressing it with the company, you should be able to get a refund, have it replaced with one you know you like better, etc. And let's not forget, we also have to consider human error, right? Because some companies do have tutorials on their products. <laughs> and I don't know why. But it seems like I was moving faster than this when I was recording. I guess it's that uh, perceptive perception or at, at what is it called? You know what I mean? Something something perception. The other thing I wanted to make mention here when you're doing your color acrylic, we are not focused on laying an apex. Okay, you're laying your color just for the sake of laying the color okay and then your apex and your strengthening comes into focus when you're capping it with clear And with this type of densely filled glitter, you're bound to get a little on the skin. I didn't want to use the brush because the glitter would just wipe back off onto the skin. So I use either a Q-tip or an orange wood stick after dipping the tip into a little acetone and it comes clean. Another thing about these type of acrylics is they will clog in your brush, so you'll have to wipe it often. Be sure to keep your brush clean. When I work with acrylic like this, I keep a smaller dappin dish filled with some monomer off to the side. And if I need to, I take a short break while letting the brush soak clean. Because continuing with the clog brush, and that's what any acrylic, will cause terrible clumping and lumping in your acrylic. And real quick before I get into the announcement, an alternative for acrylic, as this is actually dip and dap powder, which means they're dual purpose and can be used as dip powder. So consider that as well. You might be surprised. But yeah, I know I had you in suspense, but I needed to go over those things before I forgot. And I hope this helped anyone who's learning. And before I move on to, I also want to thank those of you who've been answering the questions that I've been asking of you. I appreciate all of them, and I'll be doing many more. 
And if you've made it this far and it's helped you, consider hitting the like button and share this content with someone you think would appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. Because with this announcement, there's definitely to be more content for you to learn from as well as enjoy. Okay, so remember I said a couple of months ago that this was the year that nail techs renew their license? Yeah, now as disappointed as I was, I pretty much figured I wouldn't be able to vlog when I went to do my CEU hours. But while I was there, something else happened. It was a really nice day and time passed pretty quickly. I got a chance to spend time with a young lady who did a number of services. She was on an acrylic set when I sat with her. Then she did a pedicure and then a full set. So Raven, if you happen to be seeing this, hey honey. <laughs> Y'all, this girl is so determined. She says she's ready and can't wait to get out there and start getting clients and making money. And I don't blame her. Good for you. But also, while I was there, I found out that they were looking for nail instructors. So I brought up the last time that I was there for my CEU hours and that I talked about coming back at some point to attend instructor class. Surprisingly, I had an opportunity to meet with the owner, and after our discussion and me meeting the things that she required, guys, I was awarded a full scholarship to go back to nail school to become an instructor. For me to say I was screaming with tears of joy is really an understatement. So I had to wait until this was a definite before I shared it with you. Guys, I'll be starting school this Wednesday, and you know I'm ready. <laughs> I got my bag packed. No, 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 it's a different bag. <laughs> I got a smaller one. Today I'm ironing my clothes, and I'll be pre-cooking my meals for lunch, because girl, ain't nothing around near a small taco stand, which I'll go to from time to time. But on top of that, it's a bit of a commute, and we all know how much gas gonna be, right? And as time goes on, you know I'm definitely gonna share this journey with you. So now that this is happening, I was thinking to myself, Self, girl, you better get on some acrylic. Because <laughs> now you're gonna be responsible for someone else learning and I'm talking like the whole accountability and responsibility thing and I'm looking so much forward to it. Now I really would appreciate it if you would continue to watch the acrylic application because a question for you. Do you have iGel Beauty acrylic products and do you use them and how do you think they perform? I would be very interested to know. As a matter of fact, I won't even leave the chat that quickly. I'll hang around for a bit. In case you even want to answer those questions that were asked, if you have any questions, if you want to talk a little more about anything to do with acrylics or the journey that I'm about to take, I would definitely enjoy spending some time with you. But if you must go, I hope you enjoyed this. I love you and thank all of you so much for your support and love. And I really appreciate you being here today for me to share this with you. Regular content schedule for this week, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love.
give it a couple of different poses. You know what? And even this could just be a look by itself, I'm thinking. I'll talk I don't to you know guys just about this update. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my gosh. I got to do this on myself now. 